Straight to Bethnal Green now, George Galloway MP is speaking in his constituency. And you see that reflected in the Independent newspaper today from the constituency, is that the press hysteria is simply not matched by uh, public opinion. But the proof of the pudding's in the eating, so I say to you, come with me to my public meetings and let's see what the attendances are and what the... Uh, level of support is. Why did you meet a mass murderer and rapist, dude? Well, let's saying? stick to, uh, Just to, uh, to let's stick to, uh, Just Big Brother. He's gone under this liberty, so doesn't matter. Take you seriously after what they've seen. Well, that's a matter for my constituents. I'm content to, uh, uh rely upon their verdict. Does celebrity matter to you? No, uh, but inevitably, if you're going to try and get a message across to a large number of people, more than you can ever do in public meetings, uh, then you have to make such use of uh, the fact that people know you uh, as possible. And you cannot separate the political leaders of an organization from the political message. Why did you meet Uday Hussein? Well, I took the view that it's better to jaw jaw than war war. And I took the view, and you all know it, whether you agree with it or not, that it was better to talk to the Iraqi leadership than go to war with the Iraqi people. Now, frankly, quite a lot of people now agree with me about that. Uh, so I'm a little surprised that you should find it so contentious. He if was a murderer and rapist. Well, you know, you have to deal with the people who are running countries with whom you're in a dispute, either that or have a war with them. Now, we chose as a country to do the latter, and I think that was a mistake. Well, you suggested you won't stand as an MP again. Well, uh, that's, that's, I'm, I'm going to... Will you be running again? No, no, that's somebody who hasn't asked a question yet. I've got yes, a question sir. to ask. Who are you voting for tonight, George? Uh, I'm going to vote for Pete. Uh, I think he is Dorothy Parker and Oscar Wilde rolled into one person. Uh, I think he's coruscatingly brilliant, and I hope he's single, which is being re-released on Monday. Shoots to the top of the charts. Do you declare looking forward to seeing yeah, you one, again? Uh, one, uh, Will you stand as an MP again in this country? In this country? <laughs> now, I announced before the last election that I wouldn't be standing again. Uh, and so I'm one of the few MPs to be elected, having already announced his retirement from the job. And I've certainly not intentionally... What's your goal for respect at the local elections? Will you stand against Michael Keaton? I might do. What's your goal for respect at the local elections? What do you hope to achieve? We will be fielding candidates all over the country. Uh, we'll be fighting every seat in this borough. And uh, we hope to be at least the major party in Tower Hamlets and to make a breakthrough in, uh, in a number of uh, different parts of the country. Just sure. finally, if you had to no, 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 over no, again, no, 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 let, let me deal with one at a time, yeah? Yes, sir. George, um, I've been speaking to some of your constituents, and uh, a couple of them pointed out that you're paid out of the public purse mm. to represent constituents, uh, both here and in the House of Commons. Uh, with that in mind, uh, do you not think it was unreasonable for you to go into the Big Brother house and be completely out of contact for three weeks? You're a bit behind the curve. Because I announced already, immediately on leaving the house, that I was not being paid for my time during the Big Brother uh, experience. I didn't take my salary for that period. But that's not the point. No, they, it, no, 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 they were aware I think of that, that is the point. Yeah. They were aware of that. Yeah. Now everybody was no, aware of that. Yeah. The point here is not, mm. is not that specific three weeks, the money for that specific three ah, weeks. What the is point it? is you were elected and paid to be a public official. Yeah. You know, whether or not you decide to hand well, back a few, a few enough, quid uh, for those few weeks. A few quid, I can assure you. Uh, usually you're probably attacking <laughs> MPs for earning more than a few quid. No, look, you can either have uh, a rule which says MPs are not allowed to have other jobs as well as, as well as being an MP, and that's one point of view. Or you have what we actually do have, which is that MPs are free to pursue other jobs as well as being an MP. Now, there are barristers, doctors, um, there are businessmen, farmers, there are people in the House of Commons who have all sorts of other jobs. Uh, and I have another job. My other job is as a newspaper columnist, which I've done for nine years. Uh, now, you could take the view that I shouldn't have that job. It pays me very well. It pays me much more than I get as an MP. You could take the view that I shouldn't do that job. But then you'd have to take that view about every MP, not just about me. What did you think of Udo Hussein? Was uh, anyone not asked a question that wants to? What do you think of Udo Hussein when you met him? 
Uh, not much. Uh, Andy's uh, dead now, so I don't know quite why he's troubling you so. Are you tired of the cat jokes? Well, I'd rather be a cat than a poodle. <laughs> what do you think about the Telegraph's decision to continue to appeal against it? Uh, well, I know that they've said they're considering doing that, but I, I, I haven't seen it actually happen yet. Uh, but I, to be honest, I haven't spoken to my lawyer since getting out of the uh, Big Brother house, so I don't know quite what the official position Excuse is. Excuse me, George. Excuse me, George. Before you entered the house, you must have known how much you would be censored for your political views, which, I mean, didn't come out. And yet you still went in the house. Actually, I, not only did I not know I'd be censored, I was told by the Big Brother producers that I would not be. Uh, in fact, one of the main points that they made when they met me in the House of Commons to persuade me to do it was that it would be a good place to, uh, to be uh, effectively a soapbox for uh, my perspective on, on, on events. And uh, therefore, I was very surprised when I got out to uh, hear the bird song. Uh, over any political statement that I uh, that I made, but hey, I'm getting the chance to speak to all of you here, and you wouldn't you wouldn't be here you wouldn't be here otherwise. I've been respect? accused of many things in my life, but naivety is not one of them. Anybody who hasn't asked uh, today, uh, I have done a series of media interviews, and now I'm about to start when you'll allow me my constituency surgery. And then back to the circus tonight. Yes, this is the, uh, the big night. The uh, winner will be announced tonight. I hope it will be Pete, but I suspect it will be Preston. How does it feel to be hated? Hmm? How does it feel to be hated? I'm not hated at all. I'm hated by you, <laughs> but I'm not hated by the people in there, and I'm not hated by the 62% who voted in the Jeremy Vine poll, and I'm not, I, I drove through Brixton this morning and people were banging on my car windows to shake my hand. So I can assure you I'm not, I'm loved by some and hated by others. Do you regret calling Jodie Marsh a wicked person? No, I think she was wicked. <laughs> Do you have a taste for reality TV now? Uh, no, that's my, la I can tell you, that's my last reality TV show. George, you went in to connect with young people, but you didn't get on with the two young people that were there. Well, I did at times. If you were watching the show, they were singing my praises in the diary room. Not for long. And they were for long, actually. They were. Uh, but, you see, under pressure in that house, when you discover somebody's nominated you, you tend to go off them. That's, uh, that's one thing I've learned from uh, reviewing the coverage uh, of the show that I've been able to see that people liked them, people liked each other until they discovered that they'd been nominated by that person then they went off them a big time. But to be honest, it's, you shouldn't take it too seriously. Uh, it's over now and all sorts of people, in fact all of us really, uh, overreacted to things. I mean I watched it last night and there was people kicking furniture and cursing and swearing and threatening uh, uh, fights with people over the disappearance of I think it was four cigarettes. Now, I can assure you they'll not be like that when they get out of the Big Brother house. It's a product of the, uh, of the atmosphere. Well, another surreal moment in the many surreal moments of the last three weeks for George Galloway with a news conference that ranged from Saddam Hussein to Pete Burns and Katz. Uh, he was asked there, uh, uh, do you feel hated? He said, I'm not hated. Well, I'm hated by you, but not by members of the public. And again, he said he was simply trying to get his message across to the wider audience.